Bible says God will surely cut down the tree which he has not planted. This is my prayer that your faith and your life must be based on the revelation which comes from the Lord, not by the man's wisdom. A very famous story of a sixth blind man because each blind man touched an only part of the elephant. That's why none of them could agree on what an elephant is really like. Same way, many people have misconception about God, what God is really look like. Remember, believing the wrong thing about God is a serious matter because it's a sin. Because the Bible says God is holy and mighty. So, we must be careful not to think of God in our tongues or entertaining thoughts that are unworthy of Him. You know, the very famous Voltaire of French agnostics once said, God created man in his own image. Now, the man is returning the favor of God by creating through unworthy thoughts. Remember, the Bible says, the Lord raised a very important question in Psalm chapter 50 verse 21. You thought that I was just like you. Friends, tell me one thing. An earthworm or insect like mosquito, honeybee, etc. can explain about man? If not, then how can a sinful man, a sinful man can explain about mighty and holy God who created heavens and earth? Do not forget the God himself reveals that kind of thing. For he declared, let not a wise man boast on his wisdom and let not a mighty man boast on his riches. But in him who wants to boast, must boast that he understand and he knows it in Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23 and 24. The philosophy and the worldly wisdom will take you away from God. I have seen in such a God many are following the creation, not the creator. People are worshipping animals, trees, rivers, plants, and finally, in this last century, people are worshipping man. A man is worshipping man. The Bible says, God will surely cut down the tree which he has not planted. It's danger to play with God's holiness because his name is holy and he dwells in holiness. The only way to know what God is like is to discover what he himself revealed in the word of God and that is Bible. The revelation of God's nature falls into different categories of attributes which in their totality define the character of a faithful and loving God. Knowing what God is like a foundation is knowing God himself. And that's why the King David said, Great is the Lord and Almighty and highly to be praised. Let me tell you one very important thing. It's not only your desire or man's desire to know one and only through God, but it's God's ultimate and deep desire. It's God's desire. It's God's ultimate desire to reveal Himself upon every true seeker. And here the gospel comes in the scene. The Bible says God is a spirit. And the spirit took form of man and lived on the earth for 33 and a half years. And Jesus made the most powerful claim that who has seen me has seen the Almighty, the Creator, and the faithful and loving God. My stance for Christ is based on three important things. Number one, it is holiness, the life of Jesus Christ. Jesus lived a holy life. Number two, his message of forgiveness, which is ultimate message across the world. And the most powerful is the resurrection from death. You take the rejection out from the gospel and then the entire Christian faith will fall on the ground. Remember, the rejection of Christ from the death 
makes Christ very special or unique from any other philosopher, thinker, and teacher of the world. My friends, this is my prayer that your faith and your life must be based on a revelation which comes from the Lord, not by the man's wisdom. God bless you.